Hello all. Today we're going to do a video on the new map features, specifically regarding the new coverage and rewards explorer viewer. As we always like to say, what you see in this video may have changed by the time you watch this. But what we show you here should be a good start to get you using the tool. First, let's just talk about the basics. This can be done on either the map linked on the main WingBits page, which is what we're going to use for this video, or you can use the same on the map after you log into the site. My suggestion is going to be to turn off the flight layer. And if you have the weather layer on, make sure you turn that off. It makes it a little bit easier to focus on just the stations. At the same time, let's turn on the stations layer with this button that looks like an antenna with radio waves coming out. Once we have the stations layer on, we can zoom in and out to different areas and see where the stations are located. Just like when you claim your stations location as a resolution six hex, each station is represented on the map identically in these small resolution six hexes. These hexes are about four miles across and six kilometers if you prefer. And that's from parallel side to parallel side. For obvious privacy reasons, you also don't know where in the hex the actual station is located. It can be anywhere inside this hex but we do know that there is only one in there. When I moused over the hex, you might have noticed a string pop up. This is the hex ID in the H3 hex system. An interesting note, the second character says what size resolution the hex is. So in here you can see the second character is six, and that means it's a resolution six size hex. Now let's select the hex to get some stats for this station. Sometimes it's easier to zoom in a little, but if I'm zoomed out, I do try to put the palm of the hand over the hex, not the fingers. And you should see the hex ID. If the hex ID is showing, you can left mouse click to select this hex. Note the color of the hex changed to orange. This helps you keep track of which stations hex you clicked if there are a lot of them nearby. Now we have two aspects of the Explorer to look at. The rewards and data history chart on the right and the coverage heat map on the left. First, let's look at the rewards history. So this history will be a seven day chart one bar per day of the rewards that this station has earned. At the top, there will be a seven day total earnings that just represents the total from all the bars. And additionally, there is a data points tab that you can click on to see how many messages were submitted to the WingBits network by this station. This is for all the hexes that we see on the left. Next, let's investigate the coverage. But before we do, I just want to call out that these are resolution three hexes. We call them rewards hexes, and they're the same ones used when we do the calculations for the rewards daily. That calculation is shown in the white paper in case you want to review it. While we're looking at this, you can still see all the resolution six location hexes that represent all the other stations on the map. And obviously a lot of those fit into each rewards hex. It's about 343 will fit into each rewards hex. Let's mouse over one of the coverage hexes. In this case, this station is contributing messages in this hex, about 580,000 of them. That's the second line in the tooltip. The ranking is number one. That means they are the largest contributor of messages for this hex. You can also see on the third line, percentage of messages in hex received. 
this indicates that this station is sending about 20% of all the messages that Wingbits has received for this hex. If we look at another one, you can see different rankings. Again, the messages for this first one were 580,000. For this one right here, it's 518,000. Not much of a difference in messages, but you will note that the hex rank is six. That means five other contributors, five other stations are submitting more messages daily in this hex. That's also shown by the percentage, which is only 8.75% of all the messages received. So by using this, we can see that this station is covering about 15 hexes. I think it's 17 to be precise. Some of these are going to be very slim. This one, for example, it's only 139 messages, very small percentage, very, very small percentage of all the messages received by Wingbits for this hex. They're ranked number 18. One would suspect that all these other stations are probably contributing to it as well. Same applies for others over here further away. Low number of messages, low percentage of contribution, and a high ranking. Again, for example, this one, 16 is the rank. 15 other stations are contributing more messages. We encourage you to use this tool before you join the project. Look at your area, see what stations are doing for rewards and for coverage around you. Decide if these reward numbers make sense for you to set up a station or if you should be looking to host in another area by locating at a friend or relative's house. Again, if you can get line of sight to an airport in a more saturated area, this will still result in more rewards than other stations around that can't see the airport. If you have any questions, ask in Discord. Either us or the community would be happy to help. Till next time, keep watching the skies.